Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to my second video tutorial. This time, we are on After Effects. Today, I'm going to explain to you how to render out a composition. So, I've already went taken the liberty into adding curves and splicing in a couple of different scenes. Um, it's my character in Skyrim here, he's just chilling here. And then he sees this guy drumming in the background and he gets really angry and starts to kill him. So we're going to go back here to um, the primary comp that I want to render out, or the scene. And we're going to go and click Add to Render Queue, or Control M, whichever one works for you. Yeah, we can delete these. Don't worry about those. Just go to the one that's on the bottom. Um, we're going to select where it says losses, lossless, and we're going to select Windows Media. I found that Windows Media is usually the smallest file size and pretty decent quality. Like it's it's what you want for um, video or for YouTube or something like that, right? So, click OK. We're going to click the audio output. And we're going to go to 9.2. Professional is not really necessary since we're not putting this on a DVD. Unless you are, which then select it. And you probably know what to do if you're using a DVD. Um, we're going to go 192, which is pretty much DVD quality, but still not as extreme as what professional would give you. Um, I do not recommend using professional by any means. It's not really going to give you that much advantages except for a higher bitrate I believe. Which even then, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna leave it the way it is. I'm not going to crop it Sometimes I like to crop it, gives it a nice cinematic look. But today we're not. Alright, so we got that. Click OK. We're going to specify this. We just call it Rampage 1. I'll leave you also the, the project files. So then you can go ahead and play around with different rendering settings to just see what which one you like the best. This is a. Uh, it's a 1920 by 1080 file and it is massive actually no I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to I'm actually gonna post it up because it's about 4.86 gigs so you'll either see the link in the bottom or you won't either way let's carry on then we're just gonna simply hit render and gonna let After Effects do its thing. Times may vary due to different computers, you know. And um, while we while we let this render, I'm just gonna give you a word of advice if you're using Fraps to record video games, because you may ask, what are you using to record your video games? Well, I'm using Fraps, and. If you're wondering why your computer is really slow when you re when you play or when you record something on Fraps, it is mostly because you're playing a game on your hard drive and you're saving a file that is going to end up about 1.92 gigs onto it at the same time. And that will make loading textures or anything run rather slow. So I recommend having a secondary hard drive or even a USB 3.0 uh, oh, there it goes external to sto to what is it install fraps into and it will work marvelously or that much faster <laughs> all right so let's go to my documents and open up this file 
and it is very high quality footage. Guys drumming along. And that's why you don't mess with me when Skyrim Online comes out. Or is it the Elder Scrolls Online? Whichever one. Don't mess with me. Alright, so... And if you're wondering why your files may be massive on any other format... See, this is only 26.7 megabytes. If you're wondering why it was, it's like 1 gig is because when professionals render out in like an AVI format, what they're trying to get is uncompressed footage which is, well, say, I guess perfect or next to exact quality to the original, which is very hard to achieve. So then you can get, or so then when you go to add more effects or change something up, you can always go back and do that. Or what you can do is just do dynamic linking, which I'll probably do a tutorial on later, but I'm still in the process of figuring that one out myself. Because um, I've been having just a few issues, not sure why, but um, my other recommendation, if you want even higher quality, say if you were to burn it onto a disc, is to use QuickTime. So I'll just go ahead and just show you. Add to render queue. I'm gonna go QuickTime. Um, pretty much these settings are already pretty good. You can use animation or photo or yeah or photo JPEG, whichever one. And that there, shoot it up to a hundred, and you'll have a very very amazing quality. Um, both the render speed will be just about the same, but the file size is enormous compared to Windows Media, and that's because just that much more quality right so instead of a 26.7 meg video for 26 seconds you'll probably end up with something around 300 so yeah and hopefully that clears up a bit of questions as to why your mass why your files are so massive is because you're choosing the wrong one and those ones aren't really meant for the internet so don't use those if you're thinking of getting into the film industry, I highly recommend having lots and lots of hard drives. I have about, say, I think it's two or three, about three and a half terabytes of space. So that's it's for those guys who want to render out in those AVI formats and store a lot of crap, such as a lot of, like, uncompressed footage so yeah hopefully I've answered your questions and put more comments or even suggestions in the comments box comment comment box below to for me for, for ideas you know suggestion suggest, suggest. <laughs> all right have a good day stay classy